Hi everybody at uh, USC, uh, my name's Ashley Smith. Uh, I've been involved in the marketing sphere for about 20 years. And during that time, uh, I've spent with big companies uh, such as uh, Philips in the Netherlands, working within marketing departments uh, and supporting strategic marketing. I've also worked on the agency side where uh, providing marketing services to both big and small companies in Europe and Australia. My main area of expertise within the marketing discipline is what you would probably refer to market research, um, customer intelligence, market data uh, as a way of supporting uh, the marketing function. Now, right now I focus a lot on providing that exact service uh, to small and medium sized businesses uh, who'd like to grow. And one of the ways they really need to, to grow or help them to grow is by uh, boosting their marketing competencies. And, and I help them through that idea of providing better customer data, customer insight, market data to be able to improve their strategic marketing plans, but also their ongoing uh, marketing activities. Uh, things such as launching new products, preparing them for market, looking at their customer experience, how they can improve their customer experience, uh, learning more about which type of uh, new uh, customers they could target to grow their business and so on. Uh, the one thing that I would love to have known more about um, before I, or, or be more aware of before I started in the marketing sector is that uh, marketing is an interesting discipline because it is part art, it's part science, it's part fact and technology, is that it's always seeming to have to um, prove itself or prove the value of it, itself to uh, within a company uh, in order to secure the funding and the budgets that are needed for, for marketing initiatives. Uh, this can be right up to senior executives and uh, in my, my specialist areas I mentioned within, which is market research, is even more scrutinized in terms of uh, why should we do it? Why should we spend that money? Um, and doing it the right way, and it's always been a constant challenge uh, to, to convince people to do research, but also do it the right way and for the right reasons as such uh, for that. Now, um, what I'm interested in right now, what marketing trends, I'm gonna cheat a little bit and mention too really interesting to me. Um, the first one would be this debate that's going on between short-term or what you might call performance marketing and long-term brand building. Now, um, I, I'm a still big believer that uh, long-term brand building is really essential. I do examples where companies are way too much focused on tactical marketing, too many uh, short-term promotions, uh, social media uh, campaigns without a seeming, uh, seemingly or seeming grasp of their overall brand positioning and long-term strategy as such. I believe both are important, but um, uh, we need to keep that focus also on the, on the long-term brand building. Uh, and you related to this a bit, you might have seen the work of, um, in your course, you might have talked about the work of uh, Professor uh, Byron Sharp and his uh, views on uh, penetration marketing, where we basically say, look, you, you know, you can't really differentiate your product. The secret is to, to communicate to as many people as possible, be, be in their faces as much as possible. Uh, and then there are differing views on this as well, who people who still believe, no, you can differentiate and you need to, uh, and you can actually have uh, targeted segments. I find this a really interesting um, debate with, with arguments on both sides. And the second area that really interests me is uh, purpose versus profit. So right now you're seeing almost all organizations um, putting their hand up and saying what they do um, from a purpose perspective and even putting this front and centre as how they push their value proposition, what they do for, for the planet, for their employees, for the, for the community. Now, I'm not saying that these are um, things that companies should not be doing. They absolutely should be um, paying attention to those things. But the risk is that if every company starts to put that front and centre as how they position their, um, their products and services, I think it'll be hard to differentiate. If we remember, we buy products and services from a company for a personal need that we have, and I still believe that should be front and centre in what we actually communicate as our, um, as our value proposition. So really interesting area where you've seen some companies who've got in trouble for trying to claim um, a purpose-driven, uh, uh, let's say, positioning where they really can't really play in that space. Anyway, that's a little bit from me. I hope this is interesting for your course. Uh, happy to uh, answer any follow-up questions. Uh, good luck with the rest of your studies. Thanks very much.